Hello everyone, welcome to another video. We are once again in the eastern province of Trat, Thailand. And the reason why we're here is to visit another absolutely stunning island, the island of Kokut. We are here at the Bon Siri ferry terminal in Trat and we're gonna use this company Bo City to take a high-speed catamaran which takes about an hour from the pier here all the way to Kokud. And they also have a car park here where you can just park your car, you drop off your bags, you're gonna take this buggy right behind me all the way to the pier, then jump on that beautiful catamaran and make your way to Kokud. As you probably heard, the country of Thailand has been closed for more than a year now and the country itself relies a lot on tourism but with the country being closed there are virtually no tourists here which is great to control the spread of the virus but horrible for the hospitality uh, business here in Thailand so the reason why we're traveling is because prices are very very low because the beaches that are usually super overcrowded are now empty and we get to experience this beautiful beautiful nature the way it's supposed to be and probably the way we're never gonna see it ever again and on the way we're also gonna support all of the local businesses the hotels the resorts the local restaurants we just go from place to place and have breakfast in a place and lunch in another location and then kind of spread the love the best we can to help them survive the stop situation if you are enjoying these videos and our adventures please remember to smash the like button for the youtube algorithm it does truly help out the channel a lot so thank you very much Quite the hectic I'm boarding here in uh, Kokud. We're gonna go look for our cab to get to the resort. After a 30 to 35 minute ride through the island in the back of one of the Sontaos. We made it here to Kokud Resort. I gotta say, Kokud is quite wild. It's uh, a lot of nature. Most of the resorts are in the middle of the jungle and uh, by the sea as well. So it is one of the bigger islands, but I wouldn't say it's one of the most developed from what we saw so far. So let's see how this resort is all about. We made it. We made it to our room here at Kokud Resort. And uh, apparently this resort was closed for about a month for renovations and because they had no tourists and just reopened. So when we booked on Agoda, we found a cheaper room trying to stay within our budget of $30. And it was just over, I think it was $31 when we booked it and it was supposed to be more in the back, not one of the fancy rooms. And when we checked in, the lady was so funny, I swear to God. Thai people are the nicest people you're ever gonna meet on the planet. She said, you guys booked a garden view all the way in the back, but it's too far away, so I'll upgrade you here in the front. And that's just the best reason that I ever heard for getting an upgrade, because the room was too far away, she didn't wanna walk all the way over there. It's just amazing. And check out this room, it's so rustic and pretty. So it's got my favorite style of bathroom. The entrance is in here. So this door will close. And if you're sitting here doing your business, you have privacy. But if you take a shower, it's really cool. It feels like you're outdoors, but you're not. But it's got these really cool plants, but there's a view. So if you're sitting in bed, you can see the shower. Kokut is not the cheapest island you can go here in Thailand. It's probably one of the most expensive ones and one of the most difficult to get to. You know, it's a long way on the ferry, then you have to take another car and then through here, through the jungle to get to the resort. But the fact that we found this place for 31 bucks, a beautiful villa bungalow right on the beach, 
in an amazing resort with air conditioning and everything that we want. It's just we couldn't pass it out. We couldn't miss this. So good. So we finished our early dinner and I went to the room to get our snorkel gear and I'm coming here to the pier to meet Christina and then I just stepped on it and just stopped. This has to be the most beautiful view I've seen in my life. Honestly, it's not often that I'm speechless. It's really difficult to come to Kokut. I said it before and I'll say it again. It's not as easy as getting into a car and then just coming here. But, but, it's really, really worth it. Really worth it. I think so far for the snorkel, the beach, the location, the sunset, it's probably my favorite island in Thailand. I was supposed to meet Christina here. I don't know where she is. Where could she be? Look, there's her face. Oh, hey! <laughs> what are you doing over there? Enjoying the view. Oh my God. Have you ever seen a sunset like that before? Good morning from Kokut, Thailand. Today, we're gonna go grab some breakfast and the plan is to do some paddle boarding since they have paddleboard rentals here at the resort and then we're gonna take a kayak up a river towards a waterfall that's gonna be amazing I'm you excited ready? and nervous at the same time Are you ready? go stand up on it You're this is her first try paddle boarding yeah, this is beginner level. Stand on your knees and paddle. Once you get used to it, you can stand up. Look at her, she's already standing up. She's a natural. paddle boarding over here we saw a reef on that end so I'm gonna go grab the GoPro and hopefully we see some fish it took us a little while to get here because we wanted to eat and then Christina felt a little seasick after the snorkeling event so eventually we got here it's kind of late it's 4 15 and now we're gonna take the kayak and we're gonna go all the way up the river here through the mangroves and the current is going that way right now so that's gonna help us but it's gonna be against us coming back and once we get to the spot it's about a 20 minute kayak up and then it's about a 15 minute hike
kayaking up the river through the mangroves. How's it going? <laughs> Is that the sign that says waterfall? Yes. Is that it? Okay, let's park our kayak over there and hike up to the waterfall. We're hiking through this mangrove forest and soon to be jungle to the waterfall in flip-flops. Why? Why are we hiking in flip-flops again? So as we exited the jungle, we found the road. <laughs> There's a road here and we took a wrong turn. Mm -hmm. Instead of going left, we went right. So now we have to go back. On the plus side, we have a companion. This is Nico. Nico, you coming to the waterfall? Good boy. We're pretty sure this is the way because we saw a sign further back there that said waterfall, but it looks eerie in here. Haven't seen a living soul anywhere for a while and it's starting to get dark. It's gonna be dark in about an hour and I'm not too much afraid of the dark as I am <laughs> of the mosquitoes. When it gets starting to get dark, the mosquitoes will destroy us. So we'll get a move on it, get there, take a few pictures, and then head back. Well, it's not looking too good. It's the dry season, and this whole side is dried up. Hopefully there will be a waterfall to see. Probably is gonna be quite underwhelming. Okay, we did find it. As I suspected, it looks very underwhelming, but still looks very cool. And it's got this beautiful lagoon underneath. I know people swim here and they jump from the trees over there when the water level is much higher. Still worth the hike, good exercise, pretty cool waterfall. We're back at our kayak from our little excursion to the waterfall. And you can get to this waterfall using a car or a bike. Uh, the road actually connects to the main road, we just realized. But if you do have time and you wanna have a little bit of exercise, then taking the scenic route like a kayak or something, it's definitely recommended. It was just about a hundred baht an hour, super cheap, and it was a lot of fun. So here's the place we started our journey, but we're actually gonna go past it, down the river and into the gulf. And look at that beautiful sunset. And here we are in the Gulf. Look how beautiful this is. Did you get tired paddling? No, not that bad. The water was pretty still. It was a lot of fun. We had rocks up the river and here we have sand. Enjoying the sunset from the kayak.
And that's it for our adventure here in Kokud. We truly had a wonderful time and we said we definitely are gonna come back to experience a couple of other things that we didn't get to experience now, like snorkeling in other places, scuba diving, fishing, some island adventure, some amazing food from some restaurants that were closed right now. So we will definitely return here to Kokud. And we're gonna end the vlog here. And as always, stay safe, be nice to each other, and we'll see you guys again next time.